Hey guys, so I'm just gonna make this video about we do have copperhead species around Australia, but I'm gonna tell you the difference between the highland copperhead and the lowland copperhead. Sorry, I'm just wanting something. Now, the lowland, the, let's start off with the big go big go home. Highland copperhead is a much more lot, is a cousin of a lowland copperhead, and they found mostly around the northern hemisphere on, in Australia. That's including Northern Territory, Queensland, Brisbane, Darwin, to Exmouth. And also, they live mostly in, in grass areas that are similar to tiger snakes. And the reason why they call them copperheads is that when you look at the color of the the, the body shape, the color of the body, it tells you the brownish or reddish color. And when they strike, it, it can tell you the warning. So, and sometimes they can lift their bellies up and show you the warning belly color. And similar to red belly black snakes. Now, next, but next, last but not least, is the lowland copperhead. Lowland copperhead is found mostly around southern hemisphere in Australia. That's including like southern Australia, maybe western Australia, mostly like Sydney, Melbourne. In, that's including Melbourne, including our home uh, homes. So, if you, uh, copperheads are both copperheads are very good pest control. The reason why they can actually find mice or lizards, they can try to take away their fruits or veggies. And also, they're not they're not snake eaters. So, when a human accidentally got bitten by a copperhead, they causes the hemorrhage and then destroys red blood cells and. And neurotoxicity means that you destroy your nervous systems, and they do create anti venom back in, in late in, at the beginning of the 18, 1980, to be honest. And they create and also they, they save a lot of lives. And in 2015 to 2016, there are about 50 to 100 um, uh, carpet bites, carpet bites. Uh, common every year and then in 2000 and mostly in 2017 to 2019 there are about more than a thousand or hundreds of snake uh, carpet bites every year and then they do they have to get hospital but some people die from carpet so to save yourself from the carpet bite you can do a compression bandage so that means you have to wrap your arm around you wrap your arm you put your arm like this so you stop the venom flowing and also, and also you can do it more than 24 hours like other other brown snake other snake bites and whew, that's it for today's video i'm out of breath sorry so hope you enjoyed this video comment below and then also which animals you want to know the, which two animals you want to know the difference and i'll make those videos soon i'm Aaron chong be brave stay wild we'll see you on the next adventure